well leaving my job I am um, actually am the little lunch lady that um, I don't work behind the counter with you know with the food I work with the kids so I open a lot of ketchup packets and um, clean up a lot of ketchup and um, grossness but um, I really do love it but it's only two hours a day and it literally kicks my butt and today I was almost in tears because I know I can do it and I know I like it but there were a few times where I just got so dizzy and I was like how can I keep doing this because I've been I've been sick for the last month with the flu that wouldn't go away bronchitis and um, then they gave me another antibiotic because I thought I was gonna get pneumonia so this is probably what it is. I'm probably just weak and emotional because I've been sick for so long and tired. But I take so many medications that are so expensive um, because of mental health issues and health issues, a blood disorder, thyroid, hormones, all kinds of stuff. That costs money. It also kind of wreaks havoc on your system. So it doesn't take much for your heart rate to go up or go down or you're hot for no reason. And I thought I was just gonna break down in tears. And it wasn't because I didn't wanna be there. It was because I do wanna be there. But my body feels like it's going to pass out almost every single day. And I don't know what to do about it because I am doing everything I can to get there and work and pay all my bills and it is still not enough. My daughter suffers from certain health issues. My son does too and my other daughter does. And they are all um, mostly all on medication. Um, it is hard. It's hard to, to be able to make it. But I think what's really hard is when you know you can't make it your bank accounts in the negative and your family will come and help you I mean your family loves you and my family loves my brother my mom they are there for me 100% they will fix things they will help with things but they don't understand the mental health stuff especially my brother oh, God I love him so much but they want us to just snap out of it. Oh, God. I wish I could. Anybody that suffers with mental health or any kind of illness, don't you wish you could just snap out of it? I mean, like, we wish to be this way. I don't wish to be this way. I don't want to be this way. I hate this. I want to be strong enough to get up and go have fun and enjoy my time and then leave here and go do something else without feeling like I'm going to pass out and need a nap for two days straight. I don't like being this week. I don't like having my ups and downs. I don't like being emotional. I don't like any of that. Nobody would choose that. Nobody would choose to have diabetes. Nobody would choose to have a thyroid disorder. I don't choose any of that stuff. Nobody chooses that. But for some reason, when you have mental health issues, people think you choose that. Or that it's easy to just snap out of it. And I can't. And it's scaring me because I don't even know if I'm going to make it this month. I don't have, my rent is not even paid up. It's like halfway through the month. It's 11-11 and the rent, I thought I paid it. Somehow a, a check bounced. So my rent's not completely paid. So I'm assuming that's going to affect my credit score even more. And I'm going to get some kind of fee. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd get on here and just be like, you know what people, if you know anybody in your family or you have a friend that deals with any of this mental health issues or even just small health issues please don't tell them to snap out of it please don't expect them to be able to just go through it I think the best way to describe it is a lot of days I literally feel like I am walking through a thick mucky mass of water and I'm trying to run 
you know how impossible it is to really run in water. And that is what I feel like I'm doing on a daily basis. And those people in my life that have said they loved me, but they don't understand or they don't try to understand or they don't believe in mental health issues. I'm not going to blame them. I'm not mad at them. I just wish they would understand because I don't want to be this way. So I'm here for all you other people out there. If someone tells you they've got something and you don't understand it, don't dismiss it. You look it up. You research it. You try to find a way to understand it. And if you still can't understand it, you leave that person alone. Don't tell them to snap out of it. Don't go and belittle them or talk about them behind their back. Because you don't know. I promise you, you don't know. And if you do know, you, you wouldn't treat them that way. Because I know. Because I do have children and friends. And I understand. And it has made me... It's easier for me to empathize and sympathize with those people that do deal with things. That sometimes they don't even know what they're dealing with. Because they don't understand what they're going through. Until a doctor or they admit to themselves that something's not right. So anyway, I probably will never be able to explain to my family, the ones that just want me to snap out of it, <laughs> but I want to tell you out there, don't tell anybody to snap out of it. Tell yourself to snap out of it. Go research. Go educate yourself. Pray for them if you want to. I pray every day. I pray all the time. I want to be stronger. Just please don't belittle them. Don't make them feel like they chose this. Don't make them feel like they can do better if they just try hard enough. Because I promise you, there are so many things in my life that would have been different if I didn't have to deal with this crap. Some of it is just the side effects from the medication that I have to take for one thing. And then I have to take medication for that. And it's, just, it's just like a crazy revolving door. And doctors. And some days are really hard. And today was hard. And I just felt like I needed to tell those people out there that are suffering. And those people that are around them suffering. Stop disregarding them. Look it up. Educate yourself. Or just leave them alone. Help them if you can. And if you can't, just leave them alone. Don't be mean. Because believe me, we do it to ourselves enough. We hate it too. Thank you. That's all. <laughs>